get this video of the, um, oh, that's weird. Oh, that's some kind of spur. I hope, you, hope I got that on the video. It may be for logging. He does look like a woodworker type of guy. That's how, that's the kind they had me dealing with that fixed my truck before. So that's why I'm being a little cautious. It's Thanksgiving 2020. Um, I'm about to go into the holiday market. And the, this vehicle right here pulled up exactly at the same, exactly as I pulled in. He pulled up, and that's what has me worried, and he was kind of hanging out. He's still, as you can see, sitting in his vehicle, kind of hanging out, and no doubt looking at his phone and getting direction. That's what has me concerned. I'm very afraid of them harming my truck today because it is a holiday, so I'm taking no chances. I need to go in and try to get some kind of liquid. I know that it'll be poison because everything I try to get is poison. Um, we've got the phony mask mandate or, you know, covering your face mandate. And I don't know if you can see from that far, but you can see the people coming out of the store with their masks on. Um, hopefully you can see that they are wearing masks. It disguises their identity because let's face it, if everything in the store, you know, if any number of things, including liquids and produce and meats and other things are poisoned, that means that the people shopping at the store are complicit or being harmed, one or the other. And that means the vast majority of the people are complicit in the crime. Um, so that's what's, that's what I'm, I'm concerned. He's sitting here smoking now. So that has me more concerned about what he's up to. And he looks somewhat familiar. He's got shoes on that make it appear to me as that he's, like he's involved in some kind of logging. Um, that's what it looks like, or processing of firewood or something. That's the kind of shoes he's wearing. He's wearing logger shoes. Um, trying to no doubt make some money off of me. Um, this one here with the mask is noting that I'm probably recording because I'm holding my phone up. He double, he kind of did a double take the fact that I'm recording. Um, because remember, they still, they've got their licenses and, and vehicles to identify them with. I'm not sure that I'm going inside or not. I'm really not. I want to get some yogurt. I want to get some, uh, but I'm afraid of my vehicle being harmed. And he, tent, he's sitting right beside me here, and it has me deeply disturbed that, you know, he's obviously up to something, or very clearly up to something. So I think... What I might do is I might move my vehicle in the parking lot a little bit in a way so as to make it some acts more difficult to do like I've done at other places before. Um, let's see, looks like the best, you know, it, and we know that even when I do this, I'm going to have to go outside and take a look and, you know, everything else under the sun, but I'm just going to go ahead and pull Bessie right up to here so that it's, you know, somewhat harder. It's not entirely. I have to often pull my vehicle up against walls and stuff and trees so that people don't people, it makes it somewhat more difficult depending on the type of farm they're going to do. So, you can see I pull myself right up against this um, so that people can't harm my vehicle. I mean, this is just the amount of ridiculousness. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to have to come back out here midway through getting the two items and look. But I'm going to go ahead and get this license plate. Oh, what a cute face you got. 
I don't know if you saw that kitty and that doggy. This is a Ford F-250 5X63776. So I want to make sure that I've got that so that if something does happen to my vehicle, these ones that are just sitting in the vehicle, those would be my main um, ones that I'd be concerned about. And it's a shame to have to have to do this and live my life this way. But it's the only way that I get some kind of being kept from being harmed. I'm going to try to find some juice here and camera looks good. I got to hurry, I can't waste time. But I'm going to look and see what things look like. Yeah, you can see. Look at the unnatural coloring. Is it like that in your store? Look at the obvious. Oh, and look at the obvious injection marks. And as I feel it, I can't show you that proof, but as I feel it, I can feel that it's all sticky because it's been injected. This is the reality of what I'm dealing with. And it's wrong. So I guess I'm just showing produce today. That's harder to tell, I think, with my camera. You know, it's my hope when I go in these stores that I'm not poisoned, but I am. And literally, carrots and stuff are grown in poison water. Imagine that. Let's see. Well, we're going to try to get some juice here. It's clogging up my brain. The plastic in the juice is literally clogging up my brain. Um, what was I going to get? Oh, yeah, yogurt, too. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get some yogurt. And I'm showing that I'm... Oh, God. Yeah, I love this. Brand of chocolate. I never buy the ones right in the front. Um, I guess I'll have to put the lemon. And um, I'll try to get some. Individuals. And then there's more yogurt here down here. I can't find the individual. Hmm. That's another thing they do so that you buy a big one and then you drink it all. They're there. mainly what I came in here for. Imagine the poisoning. Poisoning a person's food and giving them no access to safe food. Or most foods aren't safe. That's what's happening. to find bottled water where you find alcohol. That's kind of bizarre, isn't it? Um, 
I'm just going to randomly pick one and show that it's poison. Okay, this is a holiday card. I can buy this for a dollar, so you can see that I'm buying a crystal geyser. I'll go outside and I'll shake it and stuff. I'm going to turn this so it doesn't 